My name is Elijah Barbour, and my tag is xxfat underscore boyz boys xx. Uh, name's Charles. I go by beat 'em up. Uh, my name is Caleb, and my tag is uh, Papster. Uh, my name is Nathan. Uh, should I do the last name? My name is JJ Horner. Um, my tag is Swoosh or J2 Fresh, either one, but I just go by Swoosh here. A Hus Dog or Hus Puppy? One of, usually Hus Puppy. Yeah. Uh, I'm Bennett and my tag is KTP. No, no last name? Okay. Uh, my name is Nathan and uh, my tag is Joy Sparks. My name is Zubi Maloku. Uh, my tag's Paradox. Playing about uh, 10 years now. Um, I've been playing fighting games since about like five years old, since I could pick up a controller, really. All right, fighting games specifically, I remember I went to Alabama to go see my um, family. And when I went to go see my family, um, we had played Tekken 6 when I was there. And granted, I was maybe nine or ten years old when we played. Um, I've been playing fighting games for a really long time. I'd say ever since Mortal Kombat 9 has really sparked it for me. I remember um, getting my ass kicked and I got so mad and so frustrated that when I went home I constantly, constantly played the game in order for me to get better so I can go back and beat everybody's ass. But that never happened again, and I really just, I mean, I just i just kept on playing from then on, so. What got me into it? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know. Like, I, uh, I started playing uh, Smash Bros with some friends, and uh, there was like a, a tournament for it at Game Galaxy at the mall one day, and uh, we went and uh, made some new friends, and from there it just kind of branched off into 2D fighters from there, I just kind of like migrated. I had a friend of mine that uh, pointed out a fighting game to me called Street Fighter 4 um, a long time ago. This is like 2008, 2009. And uh, it came out. I didn't, I wasn't into fighting games seriously back then. I'd played a couple of like, you know, Street Fighter 2 on Flash games, but we played each other a lot in Street Fighter 4. I found something that had a really good community. Uh, I felt supportive and it was like inclusive. It made me feel like I was a part of something for once. My initial exposure to fighting games was seeing uh, a set of uh, Mewtwo King versus Seth Lon playing Project M. Uh, and that was what exposed me to competitive Smash Brothers. And since then, I've been expanding my roster of games that I've played up until the point where I'm playing pretty much any fighting game that comes out and we just kept playing, we beat each other, he beat me, I beat him, and it became a competition. And of course, we got how to get better. So slowly and, sl uh, slowly and surely, we started like actually paying attention to fighting games and getting good at them. So my friend Toto actually got me into fighting games for the most part, because uh, I originally played Super Smash Brothers Melee. I've been playing them about going on 10 years. When I started working here at the arcade. Toto was like, you should come out and play at uh, this arcade. I was like, all right. So that, that's what started it all for the most part. And I've been playing for uh, what, like four years, something like that. The kind of human versus human interaction, because uh, when you play a single player game, uh, the, you know, an AI, no matter how good it is, it's always going to have some kind of pattern. Once you learn how to play the game, it becomes kind of a chess match between uh, a chess match between you and your opponent, but it's also reflex based. So you have to make all of these decisions really quickly, and then you have to execute them well. So when you, when everything goes right, you have this really really cool uh, uh, match between your opponent that just fast reflexes, quick strategy, and also just technical execution. Just purely the competitiveness. I really like having like uh, something to work towards and have motivation to build on something. And I feel like uh, I've never been a team player, 
and this allows me to stand out and let the responsibility fall on me alone. The feeling you get when you win, the combos, um, you know, each game is different, so, you know, when you have different types of um, fighters, different types of characters and stuff like that, you know, that's really cool. Uh, I really like the community and the fact that, like, you know, everyone's competitive about it, but they're not, like, really try hard. Like, you know, like, everyone's just trying to play the game and have fun. The mind games, the fighting games, it's, there's a lot of ins and outs and twists and turns that I really like about fighting games. Everybody just seems really friendly and they all seem like they just want the best, like they just want everyone to just keep improving and get better so that we can reach like a higher level of play just as a collective. I really like they can like walk up to anyone, even if they're the, you know, the best player in the world and just ask them, you know, you want to play some and they'll be like, yeah, all right, I'll play some. Everybody's super nice, man. Come on now. Like I didn't even know anybody in here. I came in here just sitting around doing nothing and everyone just, you know, was like, hey, what's up? It's a lot of different things. You got the, you got hilarious amounts of salt. You got people bitching. You got people coming together and all types of havoc like that. I kind of dig that. Is the fact that there's a level of toughness in this community that is just inherent in the uh, scene. Fighting games, you have to get used to losing. You have to get used to losing and then getting better from the loss. And because of that, uh, I think the fighting game community tends to be, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, a uh, th uh, thicker hide. Um, they are very accepting because you have to prove yourself, right? Like, obviously there's competition, but uh, we're all in it together because we're all just like a big family. Just the competition, you know. I've, this is my first uh, tournament I've actually been to, so uh, I usually just play online and, you know, competition, it, it varies, but when you actually get to fight somebody side by side, you know, it's, it's a lot different than playing online. If you're good, you, you get to, you know, you get to stick around more, you stay longer in the tournament, uh, people talk to you more because they want to know how you beat them. Uh, so by proving yourself, you get a little bit more accepted. And like, even if you lose, right, people are still cool, people are still there. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty fun scene, ultimately. Probably the thing I enjoy most about it, uh, besides travel, because it's, it's nice to have a reason to go to different cities. Um, but meeting, there's so many different people. Like I've met, uh, you know, there's furries, there's handicapped people, there's poor, rich, whatever. And, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover because they'll body you if not. <laughs> Watching fighting games grow into an esport, like uh, I used to watch fighting games way back in 2008 and 9. So I used to, I saw them when they were like underground roots. You'd see really crappy streams that had low quality, and you had to keep track of the rounds yourself. It's not bad. It's not bad. It, I mean, it got a lot more organized, obviously, but. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, of course, there's a lot of money in it, and uh, there's a payouts and sponsorships. Um, but you know, I've I've visited other esports area like MOBAs, like League of Legends, and I really like that. And now you have all of these fancy like overlays and effects, and you have these professional commentators that are actively trying to grow the scene and all these organized sports. So it's very very cool seeing it like become more popular. Um, ultimately, yeah, I just wanted to keep going. I think they fit in esports, but I feel like it can fit in either way. Like, it doesn't really matter. Esports just means more money, which can bring in more people, which I think is cool. I know there's some negatives that comes with esports, right? People playing only for money, people playing the game that's the most popular, and games having to appeal um, to a greater audience. But that doesn't really outweigh the positives to me, which is getting more people into the scene, finding a good balance between accessible but still complex, and then just having more people play the game. I, I love it, you know. I always watched it on, you know, YouTube, different tournaments, stuff like that, on um, Twitch and stuff like that. So, you know, it's actually, it's different actually coming in, competing in a tournament, because like I said, it's my first one. So it's, it's, it's definitely different, and I, you know, I love it. I need them to, I need everyone to go and support esports because I think esports is a great thing. I think 
Esports is really just, it's everyone's NBA. I like the idea of uh, fighting games as like an esport, I guess, or like just in a competition in general. Uh, I think the way esports is kind of done these days doesn't exactly fit uh, kind of the fighting game formula, or at least how tournaments are ran and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily know how to improve it though, but I do think that improvement is possible. I feel like fighting games are some of the most entertaining esports for me, since it's a one-on-one -on -one environment rather than a team environment. All the blame gets placed on you. Uh, you only have yourself to blame, you don't have teammates to say, oh, you, you did something stupid or something like that. But uh, in this one, it really feels like it's it helps the player stand out as a person and not as a just another brand. When you're playing um, when you're playing football or you're playing basketball or you're playing any type of sport aside from maybe chess or anything like that, it's really more so um, there's there's a lot of hard work, don't get me wrong, that goes into it, but initially you're I guess if you're not of size, so to speak it puts you at a huge disadvantage from everyone else. So I would think that everyone has, everyone has a fighting chance to get a lot better than everyone else in the fighting, you know, in eSports. So I think that it's everybody, everybody can join in eSports and everybody can get better and everybody can practice and play. Um, and I think that, you know, I think that'd be great. In lots of ways, um, like I was mentioning before, you know, there's all kinds of different people and it allows them to stand out. Um, helps, helps spread the message of, uh, you know, you don't have to be a particular type of person to be successful or to be better at something. And so I really like the fact that it allows you to do that. When we first started out uh, in the Game Galaxy in the mall, you know, it was pretty small. Um, I kind of just mostly hung out with like the friends that I went with and stuff like that. So one thing that I've definitely seen, um, so back in the Street Fighter 4 days, and I'm sure this was like the case with Street Fighter 3, um, a lot of the games were brutally difficult, right? Like you had to learn one frame links, you had to learn all the techniques, uh, you had to go to forums to learn a lot of tech, you know, like uh, tech. Uh, it was hard, and if you and a lot, I talked to a lot of friends that like told me back in the day when they tried to play fighting games, like they would just get their butts kicked, and then apps, and then they would just give up. Right? It wasn't fun for them. A lot more people actually turning up to watch people, and weird being able to see like Street Fighter tournaments on ESPN. That's interesting. I mean, you just see new people like playing like every single day. Like people just come in and play some. They might stay, they might leave. Most of the time they'll stay though. It's really nice to see it getting bigger. But uh, over the years, uh, I've got to know the people around here and uh, kind of expanded my friend circle to a point where, you know, all these people are more than just guys that I come down to play fighting games with every Saturday. Like I spend my holidays with them. I help them out with like their life issues and they help me out. So it's definitely grown from uh, people with a mutual hobby to like a family really is what it is to me. Well, first off, let's go ahead and put this out there. I've never even heard of eSports um, before, maybe like maybe three, four years ago. So um, maybe not even three, four years ago, maybe like one or two. So, I mean, they got me and you know, I was able to at least try and join and support the esports community. So, I mean, there's probably thousands and thousands of other people just like me that are trying to get into the community and get into esports. So, you know, I think it's grown tremendously given that, you know, they got me and they got a lot of people like me. So I think it's continue, it'll continue to grow because of that everyone can be better aspect. But fighting games have taken steps to kind of alleviate the difficulty, have better tutorial modes, and the community has kind of grown as a result. Uh, they've taken steps to have characters and, and add guest characters to the games uh, that allow like people that traditionally aren't fighting game players to get interested and then kind of keep them in. 
and because of that, you like have like I you now see players of many different types, right? More female players, more transgender players, more girl, uh, more gay players, just a ton of different people that traditionally you wouldn't have seen playing back in the day, and now you just have a wider audience that you know, of course, bigger taste, uh, more people to appeal to, but ultimately a bigger scene. Man, practice. Hey, play Tekken. Come on now. Play Tekken. Play Fighters. I like Fighters, but I like Tekken a lot more. Um, Smash. Ah, Smash is hard. Yeah, just, you know, play hard. Shoot, get that. Play with me. Play with me. Make me better so I can become a better esports player. Get. get Hit buttons. A lot of people say that fighting games have this giant barrier to entry that makes them really tough to get into, but um, I don't really think that's the case. I think a lot of fighting games these days especially are more accessible than ever. And there's a lot of information on the internet. Um, the community is super nice. People are always willing to help to uh, get new people involved. So all you have to do is look at a game that looks cool and say, I want to play that game and there's somebody somewhere out there that plays it too so you'll have a friend that you can you know play with i'd say if you're trying to get into the fighting game community uh don't have to enter just come play friendlies if you want uh just try to see what other people are doing uh just try to have fun that's the main goal is just try to have fun we're playing video games at the end of the day might as well have fun with it <laughs> Hey, make sure you practice before you come and definitely practice, practice, practice or you will get embarrassed. <laughs> but it's also fun, so don't don't sweat it if you lose. Just, you know, continue to hone your skills and keep practicing, do what you gotta do, and you know, maybe you'll come out on top. Lab, uh, get in that practice room. Practice, practice, practice. Um, you're not gonna get any better. Uh, a lot of people rage quit. You don't want to do that. Uh, we all have our moments, of course, but you just got to stick with it, practice, and you'll get there eventually. Just keep, just keep playing the game. Even if you keep on losing, just keep playing them. You'll get better. I would say don't get discouraged. Um, fighting games are tough but fun, and ultimately they're fun because they're tough. Going into a game and just winning right away, it feels good, but Playing a game, losing a lot, and having to physically get better with no indication other than your own skill, when you win that way, it's really, really, really fun.